everything's a coincidence episode 28 but we have a uh, former death row first lady uh jewel capels just passed away right now based on the numerology this is screaming uh sacrifice to me right and i want i want to be as respectful as possible because i think this is someone that's actually passed away someone that had, that has actually had to shed blood uh due to this evil satanic industry so i want to be as respectful as possible to any of the family members that might be watching this but i do have to shed light on the truth of dealing with the music industry right so without further ado uh rest in peace to jewel capels right uh condolences to the family but let's get into it uh death row records right um if you look at the publications that's online like i said everything they tell you they tell you for a reason right first lady of death row records jewel capels passes at 53 and if we take jewel capels and first lady we get the same numerology 42 that's connected with black people right we know jackie robinson the first black mlb player who wore the number 42 jackie equals 42 in gematria right then you got chadwick boseman that died at 42 years old right and we know he starred in the movie 42 where he played jackie robinson and he died on jackie robinson day right that number 42 is linked to black people slavery equals 42 right martin as in martin luther king and malcolm x equals 42 right if you if you watch martin the sitcom martin lived in apartment 42 right so uh tuskegee equals 42 so we know that the number 42 black history month which is february february equals 42 so once again this is another uh this is more uh mockery right in plain sight right even the n-word nigger equals 42 right this is how they play with us right in front of our face and mock us and laugh at us right first lady of death row records jewel capels passes at 53 right if we take the day she died may 6 2022 and we add that up 5 plus 6 plus 20 plus 22 we get 53 right her same age that she died at now her death is linked to dr dre right dr dre is one of the founders of death row jewel was the first lady of death row now she was born on june 12th now if we take the day she died and what would have been her upcoming birthday we would have had five weeks and two days 52 just like dr dre's uh, first and last name andre young equals 52 in full reduction right and i'm using this whole this whole video i'm using only base ciphers right this is only english i'm doing this whole video in english just to show you right how scripted by the numbers this is now if we take her birthday what would have been her birthday this year june 12 2022 right it would have been 202 days left in the year just like andre ramel dr dre's first and middle name right andre ramel in reverse ordinal this is nothing but a regular english uh chronological order but in reverse so a as you can see is 26 right b would be 25 so on and so forth right so dr dre is linked to this sacrifice right the first lady of death row records right first lady and dr dre's birthday we get the same as that numerology 57 and 129 for february 18th right jewel capels died on may 6th which was the 126th day of the year which involves dr dre's birthday once again february 18th 1965 equals 126 in original english a is one b is two c is three right if you want to make it to the top of this industry sacrifices have to be made blood has to be shed and it's it's sad because if, if you if you at the bottom you getting signed by these people they don't care about you look at how many artists have been signed by bigger artists the the smaller artist dies and the bigger artist elevates it's the same thing every time it's it's it's, it's always that same format it's that same formula it's never the biggest the bigger artist dies and the smaller artist rises up 
it's always the smaller artists you sign yourself to another artist they're gonna take you out man they see you as just a, a way to just climb the ladder to get a, a, another endorsement oh yeah we didn't gave you dre beats we didn't gave you dre beats for a long time now you ain't dropped the album in a minute something gotta give you ain't you ain't been producing us no albums we didn't let you get this billion dollar business oh yeah something gotta give my dog yeah they gotta shed their blood and this is how the music industry operates right if we take dr dre's birthday this year which was february 18th earlier this year and we take uh, the first lady of death row records jewel capels we get 77 days which death row records equals 77 this shit is by the numbers right even even dr dre's birthday the day he was born right if he wasn't born on a leap year he was born on on on, on a day with 49 right the 49th day of the year dr dre equals 49 so that that just that goes to show you that these characters are manufactured at birth these people are selected for this industry and if you're not one of those people man you're gonna you're gonna get sacrificed man you're gonna get sacrificed let's move on man death row records is an american record label that was founded in 1991 by the doc dr dre suge knight and dick griffey right so it's been 31 years right since death row records has been established right 31 years 31 years and now we have a sacrifice for death row records right skull and bones equals 31 and dr dre equals 31 in that same cipher full reduction now why did i pick skull and bones right you asking why did i why did i mention skull and bones right because skull and bones is another secret society that a lot of artists celebrities uh politicians fraternities are linked to right now the reason why i pick skull and bones is because we've seen prior numerology with skull and bones and dr dre right the day he had a brain aneurysm right dr dre suffers a brain aneurysm in icu at la hospital now this happened january 4th 2021 now if we take the days if we take the day of his birth this happened on the 300 and 22nd day of his of his uh uh what you call it of his of his birthday of his birth year the 322nd day of his age there we go i got it i'm a little slow but i got it right so we can see the numerology is involved in this part and not only just this right it continues jewel capels made a, a instagram post and told everybody that she was hospitalized on march 2nd 2022 now if we break that down we get we get three slash two slash 22 right or 322 for that skull and bones once again and peep the mason and checkerboard right this was purposely done this bag could have been positioned anyway. It could have been standing up. She could have she could have had it stood up against the chair, but it was lean. It was lean right there. It was positioned right there to show you that mace on the checkerboard, right? All right, let's move on. More skull and bones. More thirty-two, right? More three-two. Jewel, Dr. Dre, and Snoop Dogg equals thirty-two in that same reverse full reduction cipher right my blood my sweat and my tears my blood these these folks put their blood in for this industry and they and they flat out tell you that it takes blood man it takes blood if, if you want to get to the top you're gonna have to shed blood now if we take the day that she was hospitalized which was once again march 2nd that 3 2 slash 22 we take the day that she was first hospitalized and we take the day that she ended up passing away we get 65 days just like how jewels died on the sixth of the fifth month right the sixth of may may equals five because it's the fifth month of the year right and capels which is her last name equals 56. what a play on numbers right let's move on 
Now, I mentioned Snoop Dogg before, right? With the 322, with the 32. Now, on 32, March 2nd, which was the 61st day of the year, which was the day that Jules was hospitalized, 61 equals Snoop Dogg's full name, Calvin Brodus Jr. Equals 61 in that full reduction cipher. I told y'all, I'm using nothing but base ciphers and you still getting this numerology. It's about 50 ciphers, I'm using four. Probably more than 50, right? But we're gonna get the same connections every time because this is how these people work. It's ritualistic. Like I said, I don't mean no disrespect, but I'm trying to shed light on what's going on out here. Maybe this will save somebody life from fucking with the music industry because they're going to take your ass out right by the numbers. Right. Let's go back to her Instagram post. Right. Once again. And it's, it's so funny. Right. How the universe works. Right. I took this screenshot at what? Three uh, a thousand three hundred and thirty three likes. That's when I took this screenshot funny how the world works right but she says she went back to the hospital march 16th march 16th until today march 21st so march 21st was the last time she was at the hospital so she was released from the hospital march 21st now if we take that day to the day that she died may 6th we get one month and 15 days just like killing 115 right or if we just take the days we get 46 days just like sacrifice just like how her death was a sacrifice for death row records snoop dogg dr dre probably the other people are involved as well i, I just didn't feel like adding them i feel like this should suffice dr dre and snoop dogg is who everybody knows so that should show you what's really going on but i could i could have probably took should night as well and we probably would have got some numerology too now jewel had an interview where she went on saying snoop dogg said he wants to own death records right and she actually took her off of a tupac record right so they was already doing her dirty you see what i'm saying and now snoop dogg said he wants to own death records now you know what's gonna have to come now you know what comes with that you know what comes with that we just seen a son in a dress we seen we didn't see all this numerology we didn't see all these different things revolve in snoop dogg in the past two three years right now it's so crazy that if we take snoop dogg's day of birth right his birthday and we take jewel jewel's death we get 23 weeks and six days just like calvin brothers jr equals 236 in reverse ordinal so like i said man this was a sacrifice for snoop dogg dr dre to hold death row records now watch snoop dogg climb to the top once again right cooking with martha stewart all this all this shit he doing performing at the super bowl super bowl i should have took that i should have took the days between the super bowl and the day of his death and we probably would have found something right but this should suffice this should this should be enough to show you that this industry is satanic these people don't care about you they don't care about you they only care about money they only care about their status and their power that they hold and if that means taking you out taking taking their mama out taking their cousin their sister their brother it don't matter they gonna do it they know what comes with this snoop dogg told you he sold this all a long time ago watch murder was the case watch that music video watch what he tells you he tells you he spoke to the devil and that's how he got up out this case he gave his soul up for this man let me know what y'all think about this video man appreciate all the love and all the support and i'm out